Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with stampwithdiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is your first time joining me, I'm so glad that you found me. Um, now, if you're going, if you're joining me through YouTube, make sure that you've subscribed and that subscribe button's just below. There's a bell there and if you hit that, you're going to get notified immediately as soon as I go live or upload a new video. And also, if you're joining me through um my Facebook group, make sure that you've given StreamYard permission in order so that I know who I'm talking to. Also, if you're watching this on a replay, just make sure that um, you you understand that this is part of a live and I do talk with the people that do join me during a live because it really helps because they may have some questions. They might be doing some questions that you might ask yourself what um, certain things. In any event, today is Monday. Monday is where I, um, it's my free online class and that's usually where I do a fancy fold card or I might do a 3D project. So I thought I'd do a fancy fold card. It's one that I haven't ever tried before. Um, I actually got this idea from somebody I used to blog with for probably eight, nine years. Her name's Sue Kapman. And um, honestly, it's a great fun fold. Um, like I say, I haven't done it before, but I thought that it would be really fun to do. So what I'm also going to be doing, and I should just, I haven't got my comments set up there. Hello, Nancy. How are you? In any event, we're going to use, and I'm just going to get down right down to my desktop and we are going to use this love cats do you not just love this particular um stamp set it's so um it's so cute especially if you like cats i think cats are hello jan um cats are so cute and and of course this could be as a valentine's card um, it could be a love card especially for young kids it could be almost almost anything really when you think of it uh yeah well i this is my first time playing with it now i will be honest with you i am making this card for my granddaughter she loves cats and she loves blue so i am going with a blue cat sort of thing i thought pink would be really kind of nice but it's no grandma i do not like pink so in any event, this is what we're going to do. Now, this will be going live on a festive Friday um, blog hop, which is a week Friday. It will be going live. So if you want the measurements or you may just have to watch the replay over and over and over again, if you're anything like me. In any event, I've got this. I forgot to bring my scoreboard here. We'll just grab that. <coughs> You know, I can't believe how many cards I make. Of course, I see Nancy's on here, and Nancy, um, she makes a lot of lot of cards. But when I make, like, I make so many different cards. So I'm going to be playing also with these heart pearls. Um, it's something that I haven't played with at all, um, really. So I'm going to use these. I'm going to take advantage and use this um, because it's Valentine's card. That's what I'm doing. Hello, Pam. Yeah, it's such a cute stamp set, isn't it? All right, so you're going to want to use, I always use, I'm actually going to take this stuff all out. I've got a whole pile of different ones, pieces here. I hope I don't lose anything because everyone knows how much I lose things. In any event, I'm just going to put this down here. Look at all that blue, beautiful blue. That balmy blue is so pretty. In any event, I have a piece of Thick basic white. Thick basic white is very um, important to use a, a thicker white, especially if you're using it for a card base or something with a fun fold. Because if you don't use it, what happens is that um, the card won't stand up as well as what it normally would. So this piece happens to be five and a half by eight inches. And Yes, I cut off the half an inch. Now I'm going to make sure I've got my score lines. And what we're going to do is we're going to score this at one and a half inches. So you just want to make sure that you got that good and lined up at the top. And I like, I prefer actually to use, um, when I'm doing this kind of scoring, I prefer to use my scoreboard. But it doesn't seem to fit into my screen. So scoring at one and a half, this is on the long side, two and three quarters.
five and a quarter. And six and a half. So I'm just going to have to bring this out here. There we go. I think that might be all I need my trimmer for. All right, so I'm going to come in with my bone folder. And let's make sure that I've got it good and scored in there. Um, now, normally I say fold into the mountain. I would have been flipping and, and everything else. I find that this is okay with this type of a fun fold. So I'm going to fold in. And then I'm going to fold. Whoops, I'm going to fold into that and then fold this back on itself. You know, I don't even know the name of this card. Um, vertical, um, let's see, freestanding card is what Susan called it. Um, but I don't even know if that's what this is. This reminds me of a partial gatefold card is what it looks like to me. So that's how it works. It's just like that. You're going, oh my goodness, Diane, you're, you've done something wrong. No, I haven't. Um, what this is, is this is another piece, and this piece happens to be four and a quarter. I'm just going to double check that by five and a half. And I also did that in the thick, basic white. And then this piece, as we get it decorated, is going to go on there. And there's, like, this one's got a lot of twists and folds and everything else, but it's kind of fun. All right, so I have a bunch of different things here now there we go now I'll let you know what these measurements are as we go now on this piece that's the base that this is going to go on top I have two pieces of this balmy blue and and it's three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter inch. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and put that right on there. Now I could use seal, but my glue of choice is the Tombow glue, especially for something like this, because I tend to um, not get it so straight. I love these bicycles on this other side. Now this happens to be country floral uh, designer series paper that I'm using. And it's from the mini book. So I'm just going to come in and let's go ahead and just put this on there. We're going to get it even all the way around. Just like that. And let's put this side on as well. Whoops. Beautiful sunny day here in Kamloops, I tell you. A little chilly, but not bad. We had snow on the weekend, so of course I had to go out and um, shovel the walks. That's an endless job, isn't it? In any event, we've got that like that. And like I say, this is then going to, when we go to position this on here, it's just going to go right inside of there. But we're going to still wait and hold off on that. Now on the insides here, I have... Um, strips that are because this is a quarter inch I've got strips that are one inch by five and a quarter and they're going to go on this part here now this is directional paper now this would have been a really pretty pink card but like I say she's not a pink gal so we don't want to she's going to go ah oh, blue whoops a blue valentine's card she's going to love it and I get to see them for a cheer competition in Abbotsford. So the beginning of February. So I'll be able to take this to them. And then we're going to go ahead and glue that on this side as well. And like I say, there is a direction with these hearts on there. Just like so. There we go. Now, this is also from that same paper, um, the country floral paper. This one happens to be one and a quarter 
by five and a quarter. And that piece is going to go there. Now you would think that you would cut two. You don't. You cut one. So I could do another card like this, exactly the same, and then just do it in the different colors if I wanted to. I'm going to do another card. I might as well do it with totally different design. Now this would be so cute with the hearts and everything else on the front as well. All right. So let's go ahead. No, we're going to leave this still. No. <laughs> Can't make up my mind. I'm then going to come in and I'm just going to Just put this here. Don't forget to share my video. I really do appreciate that. And that's one of the highest forms of compliment that you can give me. Now, I'm going to have this going this way. So now I want to make sure that those hearts on the inside and the hearts there are going the right direction. So what I'm doing is I'm just folding this down. And we're going to go ahead and put this right in the middle. So, you know, I'm going to squeeze it like this because I think it's going to be easier for me to get it lined up on both sides there. And I use the glue so that I can, I have that wiggle room. So, let's make sure that that's even. There we go. And we're just going to hold that down just a bit. go. I'm actually just going to come on the back here and use my bone folder. Let's get it in there really good. Now at this point, if we want to decorate and if we want to stamp something, we can go ahead and do that. I decided what I was going to do with this particular one was I was actually going to, um, I'm going to stamp this, this cat on there, but I thought it would be better to stamp it first, then um, cut it out. So this one's on the front is going to go, hi there, Valentine. Um, let's see. Hi there. I love hanging out with you. So I think I'll go ahead and I'll put that. I love hanging out with you. And, and I mean, this, that goes kind of with this particular one or head over heels about you. Maybe I could do head over heels because that's the one I'm going to put on the inside. There, I'll just take this and put that on. And I think I could go ahead and put that in the balmy blue on the inside. Now, I'm going to really kick myself that I didn't do this before, but that's okay. We always stamp on the fly, right? All right, so let's go with this and... Now I noticed you might want to, you know what, I don't know if this is really going to show up in there. Now this is going to give a halo. Because it's it's at the bottom and there's quite a bit on the top. If I wasn't going to sell my, car, my stamps afterwards, I would trim that off so that you don't have that, that, the scariness of getting a halo on there. So I'm just going to put that and I'm going to go and put that right about there. Hello, Diana. Or Diane, I'm sorry. I tell you, the print is so small, I wish I could make it bigger, that's for sure. Okay, so that'll be good there. All right, now this is where the front is going to come. Now, this piece here happens to be three and a half by five and a half, and it's actually going to be put onto this side. And what happens is this is going to come down here. And when you go to open it up, that's what it, how it's going to open up. So this piece is three and a half by five and a half. I layered it with balmy blue, which happens to be three and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I'm going to go put that on there. This, like I say, is pretty, not too many colors. I think it would have been really neat to have it where it's really colorful. Let's 
just like that. And then this piece happens to be three inches by five inches. This was three and a quarter by five and a quarter, sorry. And this is three by five inches. Now I've run it through the splatters um, embossing folder, which is a dual mini um, embossing folder that comes with the stripes as well. I just felt it needed a little bit of something on there. Otherwise it looked fairly plain. So we can go ahead and put that on there too. I just love fancy folds. I sure do. I look forward to my Mondays, that's for sure. Just like that. And then what's going to happen is I've got one of my layering circles and then I've got a stitched one from the thing and we're going to go ahead and put that on there. But we need to now do some stamping of the cat. So I don't know. I think Hello, Gina. Oh, cloudy in Alberta. Oh, dear. All right. So I actually have this cat here. I've mounted it onto my stamp apparatus. I find that no matter how much you ink your inks up, it just isn't black enough. So I find, um, yeah, the folds are fun on this card. That's for sure. Um, so I've re-inked my memento up. But I'm going to come in and I have this and I've actually traced the circle on here of where I want it to go. So I'm just going to and then I can keep going back in because I am going to have to stamp this a few times in order for it to get a nice black. Like I say, I've re-inked it, but for some reason... It just doesn't stamp as well. There we go. And then I'll come in with my Chucky. For the people that don't know what a Chucky is, this is a homemade Chucky. It's a repurposed um, um, makeup jar. I love to be able to recycle things. And if you are watching off of YouTube, you can basically just look up the most amazing tool, and it's a Chucky, C-H-U-C-K-I-E. Okay, so now, see, it's just not dark enough. Now, my whole thought process is, well, you know, it's really not that big of a deal because of something else that I'm going to do with it. But I want it to be black in the other parts that are going to show because I've actually gone ahead and I've stamped this before I came on live and didn't press down enough on there and I fussy cut it out and it was one of those fussy cuts it's not my favorite fussy cut because it was I had to fussy cut right to the lines see how that's doing you can see where the ink is not coming off of there and it is a double layer like you've got one piece of paper and it's coming off the paper, so it may not be. I'm going to go in one more time just for good measure. These cats are so cute. Okay. See, it's not quite dark there, but I'm okay with that. Now, what I want to do, this is going to, I want to set this aside and the reason I do is I want it to be good and dry. That black, because I've re-inked it up, it tends to um, rub off onto my fingers. Or maybe I'm just a messy stamper. All right. So, like I say, this is going to go onto this part here. Like so. Then we're also going to stamp... And this is from the Stylish Shapes, and I want it to be the Valentine one. Hi there, Valentine. So excited because I do get to see the girls down in um, Abbotsford for a cheer competition. They're on, between the two of them, they're on three different teams. The nice thing about it is that I can take stuff. And I don't know if many of you know, but I've really been into cookie decorating lately. And 
I have to practice. So I do my in-person class. They tend to get some, they get a cookie and some cards at the end of the month when I do my in-person class. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that you are my Valentine. I'm hoping I'm gonna get this straight. I didn't check it before. And I wanna do it, and I don't think I've got that high enough. Well, maybe I do. And I'm gonna do it with white embossing powder. I just think that it's going to show up better on this particular card. Originally, I thought I'd take white and then um, color it, but I don't think that's gonna work. Anyways, don't you love these tweezers from the embossing um, add-on kit? I'm just using a piece of cardstock. Ooh, it's really not straight. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stamp that once more. I usually try to stamp or cut two, and I, I know I did. But you know what? It's not going to be there. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this. And then I can replace it for my photo op later. So let me just remove this because I know what I'm like with my embossing stuff. Well, I'm just going to look to see the questions. Night of Navy. Jan went and scored, did it in Night of Navy. And yes, it would be a lot better. Starry Sky would be really nice too. Um, I just wanted a black hat. Or it looked black. Okay, that's good. That's a great idea to do that. So thanks for that. There we go. You know what? It's one of those types of stamps. It's not straight anyways. Okay, so that's going to go on there. Now, on this part here, my thought process was I was going to try to do some layering on here. Like this. And that'll work. So, I'm just going to go ahead and layer this half or a part. It was kind of not a half a circle, um, but that's also from the stylish shapes. I'm just going to put it on there. I just want a bit of blue on here. And I know that looks like it's covering up the best part of the cat, right? But like I say, I went ahead and I fussy cut this one. And I'm going to, I can pop it up now because it's, it's going to look like it's, um, like I say, I can pop it up and it's going to look like it's sort of hanging over that, um, that ledge there. All right, so let me just go and use some, um, I took your pick tool. And we're going to use the mini black dimensionals just because we're going on to black ink. And I'm going to leave the tail kind of hanging because you know how a cat's tail twitches. This reminds me of my black cat. And then we're just going to put that on there. So just like that. So we have dimension on it, right? Then I thought, well, I can go ahead and put that on there. And like this. But I wanted to also get some ribbon on here. And um, the By the Bay um, suite has this great By the um balmy blue ribbon and it really is it's it's a really different feel ribbon but I'm just going to tie a bow it's one of those ones if you have any kind of a you know your hands are rough it's actually doesn't slide very well either but play with it a little bit it'll work I thought this would be a great bow for this spent part of the morning looking for this. I had it out over the weekend and we had that launch and honestly this room was a, a total disaster. What we got here? 
Okay. Just want to go a little bit more. And the key with bows, don't forget, is always to tie them tight. They won't come undone if you do tie them tight. Now, these are not my proper river, ribbon scissors, so... Hoping it's going to cut okay. Let's just turn this. Didn't cut that well. All right, so so I can go ahead and I could put this underneath there, like so. And you know what's funny? This kind of reminds me of. They always wear bows in their hair for cheer, right? And I think that'd be really cute for them. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just glue that on. I wonder if they'd notice that. My oldest granddaughter would notice that. Look, it's got a cheer bow. And honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of have it come a little bit Hmm. Maybe just like that. There we go. All right. So I'm actually going to pop this up as well. So I'll just come in with my dimensionals. Oh, and we want one in the middle because we don't want it to dip down. I think those are my dimensionals from the paper pumpkin. They feel like they are. I'll know as soon as I go to take them off. Yep. There we go. So one's going to go there. Let's go ahead and put this bow. I'm just going to come in with my glue dots. My goodness, I've got... This ribbon is quite staticky too. But it's so pretty. I think it goes really good with the Rain or Shine kit as well. Say that'll give the illusion of a cheer bow. No, I want it underneath, so it's just going to go like that. Let's go ahead and put these on. And I might as well. Do you use these end pieces? Like I say, this is um, a paper pumpkin one, so sooner I get it off my desk, the better, because it's a tiny bit higher than the other dimensionals. And we don't want that, you know, to put a mixture of them in there. <laughs> you can tell it's going to be cute even before I finish. Well, oh, you're so kind. Okay, so this is just going to go there. Hi there, Valentine. Now, I also, like I said, I went and I stamped this. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this ribbon, I mean this cat, and we're not going to add extra dimension to it. So I'm, and I cut that one, I like it when I can fussy cut and have a white edge around it. And I just put way too much glue on there. Okay, I don't want it to ooze out. So now what we want to do is we want to come in like this. And we are going to then layer this, this on top of here. And it's not going to go right to the edge. It just will not go right to the edge. You have to layer it down so that it's in the middle there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glue right here. say this is I don't know it's a vertical freestanding card I don't know that didn't make any sense to me either like I say I used to, I used to blog with her for about eight years so 
get to know. I ran into a couple of them also over in Vienna that I used to blog with. So it was pretty cool. All right. So this is just going to, oh, that is on there crooked. I'm going to have to fix that cat. So let me just go and put that right in the middle there. You want it to be centered. Look at that cat. Why didn't anyone tell me that was on there crooked? Let me just take that off. And I want to get this back on here. I want to make sure it's straight. And then when it opens, it goes like that. You know what? I have no idea, Pam, why the dimensionals are higher. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. So I think it's it's a different manufacturer than what is um, does the regular dimensionals. Um, one nice thing about the paper pumpkin ones, if they're higher, you do not have to double dimensionalize your um, your uh, your card sometimes if you want more height. Um, honestly, I can't be bothered to keep them separate. So I just basically turn around and just um, try to use them up. Okay, so there's that. Thank you. Cats can lay everywhere. <laughs> I have not had a cat for years. It's got to be almost 40 years. So cute. And then like that. Now, what I thought I'd also do is, okay, like I said, we're going to use these pearls. We're going to use the heart pearls. Honestly, I forgot. I completely forgot about these. So I don't know if I want to do the shiny ones or the opaque ones or the white ones. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll take this off. It's got that sticky on it, so I gotta take that off. Otherwise, it's gonna interfere with my opening. And I think I'm gonna use like the opaque ones. So they have opaque, they have the pearl eyes one, and then this one is kind of a glossy one. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's use this is crooked too. Oh, and that's on a long strip. That might be a little harder to move up. There we go. That should work. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead. It's quite a small one. Go a bigger one for down here. And I think they're all the same size on this size. Another one here. There we go. They look so cute. All right, so there's my card. It's a vertical freestanding, say, I have no idea what she called it. Now this, just wait, I just want this out. Now see, I stuck it underneath that there. Okay. Do I want that over top? It can kind of be over top. You know what, it'd probably be good to trim that, but I'm not going to trim it with these particular scissors because these are not my ribbon scissors. And I don't want to make a mess of it. Oh, and one other thing. I did think of one more thing. I thought, well, you know, those hearts that are on there should be in the balmy blue as well. So I'm just going to go color that blue and color this one blue as well. And this is just with the stamp and fan. There we go. So there we go. So I hope you like that. Oh, thank you, Gina. And Hannah, thank you. Thanks, Lorraine. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Carol. Thank you, everybody. Wasn't going to get the cat stamp set, but I know, Lorraine. I know. Like I say, I wasn't going to either, but... Then when I honestly started thinking, oh, Kira would love it. I thought, you know what? I'll do that. Now, see, this is how the card's going to stand up. So it works out really kind of good. When it does stand up, it kind of, you get a little peek of the inside as well. So it's almost like a peekaboo. It almost, I don't know what kind of, a, anyways, I, I saw this on Susan's thing um, and I thought it was amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, 
like I say, Susan and I used to blog together years and years and years ago. So it was really kind of cool. Anyways, here we go here. Um, now, let me just go up and I'll let you know what's happening. So tomorrow is my um, um, my technique. I love Technique Tuesday. How did they do that? I have a fairly old technique, or that's the plan today. I do change my mind quite often. Uh, I have a fairly old technique that I'm doing, but it's one that a lot of people avoid doing because they think it's too confusing. And I'm hoping that I can make it very simple for you. I'm not going to tell you what it is just for the fact that I could change my mind. I do like doing art type projects um, for my techniques. So that'll be at 4.30 Pacific time. So join me there. I'll be in live through Facebook or through um, my YouTube. If you like that, make sure you give me the thumbs up. Make sure that you share my video. I really do appreciate that. That is something that I truly, um, truly do appreciate. Thank you. I'm just what, looking at it. Oh, you shared Pinterest. Oh, Gina, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. In any event, you guys, have a great day and stay safe. And don't forget to create because it's great for the soul. Bye for now.